Yo guys, uh, so I'm just gonna tell you how to make a macro, uh, not macro, a for loop. Um, so just to set some context, let's say you've got a number of images like, like these, maybe 10, maybe 100, that you want to apply a macro to. Um, so, I mean, uh, let me give you an example first. So let me just run this macro. Oh, very nice, it was so fast. It, it just applied all these operations to it. Um, but then it's only one, and then you'd have to like manually change. Um, so yeah, it's in this folder. And then now when I press run, oh, nice, very nice. And now it's two. But, you know, you you, you want to be efficient, so you, you want to make a for loop. Um, so how do you do that? Uh, let's get right into it. Um, so... To make a basic for loop, I mean, oh crap. So yeah, image a shows you right over here the syntax. So you want to do for um, I. Well, okay. For me, I've got six images. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, like six images. So, um, oh, I'll just do five images. So let's do five. The first five. So I equals one um i less than six because yeah it doesn't count it's, it's less than not less than or equal to and then you do i plus plus um and then you want open brackets like that um now i just just need to think about how i'm gonna apply it to my um because my macro is a bit different um, so, uh, I think I can just do I, um, oh no, I do this, oh, just bear with me, um, I think I can, Uh, I don't know if this works. Um, I think this is fine. Okay, yeah. So that works pretty easily for me because my images are labeled one, two, three, four, five, six. But in the real world, you know, when uh, let me see if I have. In the real world, you know, when scientists are processing and handing you data, they're not going to be nicely numbered. Um, oh, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have to. I can't show you it. Oh, maybe I can. They're not going to be nicely numbered. They're going to have weird names like, um, like this, AS Code Chublin, whatever. Basically, they're going to have some some weird name. So you, you need to design a for loop that can take any file name instead of just like numbers like this. So what you want to do is you want to, um, the most important thing first is if you have a directory where um, you have all the files. So basically you want to use this command called get file list and then the directory. So my directory is these guys um and i already know my root directory i'll just do this um yeah so this is my root directory and then i mean i'm just doing this uh and this is raw so this needs to be like this okay so this is my directory so in this um, directory, you then want to do, um, you want to change the i to, instead of a one, you want to change it to zero because it's like Python where you start counting from zero. Um, and then you start from i equals zero and you go to i is less than the length. Uh, yeah, let's say it's just purely the, the files. You don't have any random other crap there. So you can just do the length of the what's in the directory. So you do 
length of um and then this one can be the list that this one here um and then yeah um so then let me just think about how to streamline this into my own macro um because if i if you print this out it basically if you print this out it will do one dot tiff so it won't just give you one you know it'll also give you the file extension so um i'm just gonna do file name equals list uh, one and i'll show you that I do this print file name and then I will just do a shorter name um, substring all right bear with me guys file name uh, I just want the first number for now and then I want the shorter name to go into here so this should also work um, let me just delete all of this again. Uh, oh, 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 you know, I'm just so terrible at doing this crap because I'm used to Python. There you go. And you can ignore the 6 1, uh, the error of the 6 1. It's, it's just my case where I only have five segmented masks and my raw data is six but so you can ignore that but that's basically how you do it um and yeah you can see here that we're printing the file name and the file name is one two three four five six tiff but then you might want to just deal with the file name and remove the extension so you can use substring to just get the first number but of course if you have 10 like 10 or 11 or if you have 10 where it's two digits um, it's a bit more complicated because now you have to do two. So in which case you wait, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, I wonder if there is a command to. Okay, yeah, yo guys. Um, yeah. So I just quickly just um try to think of a way. And yeah, so what you what you do is you do substring the file name. You start at zero, then you want to go to the last. You want to remove the last probably four or yeah, the last four. So you just do minus three because again we start counting from zero, and this should work. Um, let me delete this again. Uh. Oh. Uh, um, crap. Oh, oh my god, I'm actually dumb. Okay. Uh, this should work. Um. A few moments later. Sorry, I just went downstairs to get my lunch and I think I solved it so this should work yep uh, okay <clears throat> yeah so if you just want to remove the last four of the file extension you just do minus four um but yeah that's how you do it, guys. I hope you learned something new. Leave a like. Subscribe. Bye-bye.